Well, good morning, Nick Collier here, and coming up is a really uh, fairly interesting little project. We're basically going to take some, uh, oh, I don't know, six or so inch angle iron uh, by probably a half inch wall. We're going to cut that up and we're going to form it into four um, V blocks and a notcher, which, uh, you know, no, we're not making chips and, and cheese. We are making a, uh, the ability for uh, my customer to drill a hole in a piece of pipe at an angle. And he wants to do it accurately at 30 degrees and at 45 degrees. So basically we're going to build something that he can put a drill bit or a drill on a bit and run it down inside of a piece of uh, either plastic or ceramic, which is... Uh, a whole nother ball game, ceramic. My God, this guy's gonna be working hard. But hey, you know, we're building the, the steel part. Uh, and so follow along, we're gonna have some fun. We'll be uh, doing some welding and cutting and you know, shaping and cussing and uh, jumping up and down going crazy. Okay, first step in this whole mess is we gotta cut, uh, uh, let's see, um, what do we need? Four six inch pieces and uh, three 12 inch pieces of this uh, uh, angle iron. So, uh, uh, you know, the saw is doing the job, I get to walk away. Okay, so basically we're gonna make a B-block here. Now it's not gonna be an accurate B-block because all we're doing is putting eight inch pipe into this, into this B and gripping it and drilling a hole in it. So, uh, as you can see, I've got two pieces here and what I'm going to need to do is just cut the top off of this one here and trim it so that I can get it underneath the V of, of this part here. So uh, once we get all four of these four, well, we, I think we need six of these cut, then we'll uh, go ahead and, uh, and cut the tops off of those and, um, and keep working. Okay, we're all set with these guys here. I've got, uh, I've got a level table. And I've got these leveled, uh, and basically we're going to come in with the uh, MIG and just tack in one corner just to make sure that we're good and solid. And then we'll come back in and uh, arc. Yeah, we may or may not arc. Actually, there's not a whole lot of pressure on this. This basically is a B block. So look, we'll just weld a little corner here and uh, see what we got. Yeah, if we could get a good uh, a good ground going, we'd be just fine. So I think what we'll do is pull the ground right on over and clamp it directly. All right, that will warp the hell out of it. So let's go ahead and see if we can bring it back down. Yeah. That's almost. All right, there's one. We'll just tack them all together and then we're gonna heat them all up at one time and, uh, and probably stick weld them.
Okay, so while everybody's still warm, I think I want to come in with that piece of angle iron and get that going. Uh, so let me go uh, cut some. All right, well, this is the easy part. Uh, we're cutting these at about four inches. The size really doesn't matter. Uh, I've got two cut already. Here's the third one, and uh, the fourth one we'll cut in a second. Come on. There's three, here's four, and my blade is so old. And you know, and the stingy guy that I am, I don't get a new blade until it's absolutely necessary. But you can see how badly cut that is. I should put a new blade in, but I just, you know. So we're going to have to put this in the mill and square off those corners a little bit. But uh, we're going to have to put it in the mill anyhow, so it doesn't really matter. We'll be back. Okay, so this thing wants to slide on another piece of angle like this back and forth so that we can get an adjustment out of it. So uh, what I need to do, what I did is I came in and dropped this little piece of angle, the same material, right there and made my marks. Now what I want to do is come back and cut off this, this little lip here. So we'll put that on the saw and see what we can do about okay, it. Welding those plates up, the uh, everything got a little bit askew uh, here and there. So we're going to just level it out. I came in with that fly color cutter yesterday and it just wouldn't work. It was just way too much. So we're going to just go back and forth on this platform here and square this up with the top edge of our of our V. And that should do the trick. Let's uh, come back to the beginning. Bring it in where we can catch it. Let's get some oil on this. Turn it on. Okay, well, we welded the next part together, and uh, of course I didn't film it, but uh, now uh, we've got it up on the mill, and what we need to do is surface this at the same height as those other pieces that I cut. So uh, we're going to be fiddling with that in the morning. In order to get this thing, it, it's sitting just a little bit low, like maybe 20 or 30 thousandths low. In order to get it up where I want it, I'm going to uh, weld some tabs onto the bottom of this, uh, and also to be able to uh, lock it down onto the uh, onto the bridge port, I'm going to weld some tabs onto the bottom of this, and uh, and you know just on one side so I can break them off later. And then I want to I want to come in and weld four tabs off of the ends of this. So right now we're going to go ahead and uh, throw a weld on our uh, on these two tabs. Well, good morning, YouTube. Uh, Nick Collier here, and uh, we're going to continue with this little uh, notcher project that we're working on. The other day, or yesterday, we put on these tabs so that we can bolt this to the uh, to the bridge port, and then we flipped it over. And now what we have to do is put uh, little side brackets on here so that he. When, when he gets this so that he can bolt it to a table because this is the part where you know everything kind of gets torqued and pushed around uh, and it needs to be good and solid. The, uh, the other four uh, uh, 
stabilizing uh, V blocks in a sense uh, are just really just to hold the uh, the um, long 20 foot long tubes in place and just kind of keep them from moving around too much while he's drilling them. So uh, what we're going to do here is uh, first thing we have to do is come in and drill some holes in these four pieces, in these uh, two pieces, drill four holes in these two pieces. So uh, uh, let's go over to the drill and get started. What the hell? All right, well, we've got ourselves a freezing cold piece of steel here. And we definitely, before we weld, we need to uh, warm it up just a little bit. A couple hundred degrees is plenty. Uh, and we'll just kind of come in and uh, I'm just going to hold the back side of it. As soon as that gets to the point to where I can't touch it anymore, I know I'm just about it at the right temperature. And, you know, as far as this is concerned, it just needs to be warm. Two to four hundred degrees is optimum, but uh, that's only if you're doing super structural. This is going to be so non-structural that, uh, as I said, the weld's not going to really matter that much. All right, we're getting up to temp right now. I'm going to take it over and do the other side. You're not going to be able to see that. All right, that ought to do the trick. Now I'm just going to kind of slide this in and eyeball center it. I'll place right around in there. And let's crank it up. We don't have to worry too much about it being off because I got it sitting lower and we're going to mill off that back, that underside. So uh, it'll be fine. Okay, well, uh, actually, we don't even have to let it cool down. Let's just drag this over to the mill, and then we'll start setting up on these two, uh, these two um, uh, clips right here, and uh, I think we'll be ready to go. Okay, so we've measured uh, to get the same height as the uh, other piece over here. Well, you can't see that, can you? All right, let's bring it down so you can. This piece there, and I have four of those, and these are the extra pieces, or the extension pieces. And then, uh, so we had to adjust to the height of the spacers because we're working from this V here. So I set the spacer up and it's a uh, we're going to take, uh, we've already taken the tops off of the welds to a certain level, not down to where we want to be, but about. So uh, we're now coming in and we're going to clean off the top edge of this and then go down that extra 30 thou and and take whatever needs to be taken off to get that thing to, back to right. So, uh, so let's uh, Okay, we've done our final cut. Uh, it didn't quite get all the way down, but uh, that's okay because all we're looking for is a square surface to these two edges here. Uh, and that's what we've got. So now let's just go ahead and take it apart and uh, see how it did. We've got some sharp edges there, so we've got to... Uh, maybe I'll just get a file and go ahead and take care of those right now because... Sure enough, I'll cut myself. Okay, we're already uh, we've already got our height uh, locked in, and uh, once I laid the uh, the, the angles out or the uh, holes out, you can kind of see that little scratch right there, 
and uh, the only difference is is now this pole instead of it being right here is down at this level so all we have to do is actually come into that line and I'm gonna get my fat head in the way here for a second just to make sure we're on the line drop the branch I think that looks pretty good bring it on out let's drill ourselves a pilot Okay, uh, we've got all six hills, holes drilled on this side, uh, 90 degrees, 30 degrees from the 90 and a 45, which is basically what he wanted. I did, uh, I did him on both sides because I wasn't sure how he was going to approach that. And then the main hole for the pivot. And then what I did is I, after I drilled these smaller holes, I came back with the, uh, with the drill bit that I used to drill the hole with the pivot and I re, uh, Recentered myself with that hole so that when I spin this thing around we will be able to lock right into that hole without any problem at least height wise now uh, the uh, Y direction Well, it's uh, you know, I, I can adjust to that. So I, I think we've got uh, a pretty good setup here and uh, Let me take my wrench and break us loose Drag a few things back here. And we're just going to spin this thing around. Square up to the um, to the plate. Oops. Um. I don't think we can go any further out, can we? Nope. Put our tap in. Knowing, uh, I mean, snug it up pretty tight, knowing that it, uh, it's going to slip uh, once it binds up, but it'll give us enough start to uh, be able to take this off and uh, do it by hand. That's plenty.
Oops, looks like we're running out of battery here, so uh, we'll be back in a minute. Well, good morning, Nick Collier here, and uh, hey, I'm back. And maybe I'll just fill you in on the last month or so. Uh, uh, my wife and I have been planning on this little vacation uh, uh, in early April, and um, and we got everything all ready. We got the RV all set to go, and we were going to drive over to Mendocino and then up north into the Lost Coast, where there's no stores, there's no gas stations, there's no nothing. We're just going to hang out, hang out in the woods up there. And uh, the very the very morning we were getting ready to leave, about four o'clock in the morning. Uh, I started having back pains and I couldn't figure out, you know, I've, I've had them before, but, you know, and this was persistent back pains. And so I'm like, after a while, I'm like, geez, what's going on? We end up in the emergency room. The emergency room transports us to Sacramento. I end up on the cardiac unit. They rip open my chest and put a couple of double bypasses in. I'm out for a month. I mean, it's now a month later and I'm back in my shop for the first time <clears throat> and moving very slow. But I got a new lease on life. I had a very, very mild heart attack and uh, and um, they uh, went in and, uh, you know, thank God for modern technology and modern uh, medical practices. Uh, I'm back on my feet and uh, feeling a lot better. Moving fairly slow, as I said, but uh, we're back to uh, cranking up the machinery and uh, drilling some holes and, uh, you know, that sort of thing. And we're going to continue on this one project that, that I've been working on, and, and you'll see where we're going with that. So, uh, hey, welcome back. And because the docs say that I can't lift anything over five pounds or put over five pounds worth of pressure on my hands, I've got this big-ass... Uh, um, tap handle so that I have the leverage and I don't have to uh, I don't have to depend on my brute strength to deal with this so we'll just take this off and we're just going to index it because the handles are so big they're they're hitting the uh, the uh, bridge port of course so we'll just do it a quarter at a time I'm in no hurry. Well, it's actually getting to the point to where it's, uh, more than five pounds pressure so I'm gonna just put this on hold. Patty's gonna come in here later today or tomorrow and she'll be able to finish this part off. For the moment uh, that's probably a good enough day for me. Uh, what is that 15 minutes? I'm ready to go sit down somewhere and relax. All right so what my customer wants to do and we'll pull some of those chips chips out of there is we're gonna set up a pivot right in the center here and a bar is gonna go up into the air and and i'll show you what the bar is going to do later on but he wants um four locking pivot uh locations uh well five actually 90 degrees 30 degrees and 45 degrees from from the 90 degree angle and the, and i'm going to put the same on both sides i'm not sure which direction he wanted to do it but i'll just put a couple extra holes in there and uh, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to set, uh, we've set this hole up and we're going to tap it. And then we, we're going to drill the hole, these holes here at probably about a quarter inch and come in with a little pull uh, snap uh, spring that'll, that'll index into the hole. And all you got to do is to change it is to pull it back out and rotate the, the uh, arm over a little bit. Uh, right now, we're going to set up a drill and drill this out to 1730 seconds. And then we're going to come in with a 5 8 uh, tap and tap that. And uh, and then drill these uh, five holes and then go over to the other side and do the other side. So uh, hang in there with me. Let's have some fun. All right. Let's drill some holes.
We've got our pilot drilled. Now uh, we're going to drill a pilot hole. Um, piece of cake. We've got our second hole located, so let's go ahead and uh, and cut the center hole. Just get a pilot going. Well, okay, we got a couple of three or four holes drilled, and that was exciting for me because it's been a month since I've been up here. But, uh, you know, I don't have that much energy, so um, I'm going to really take care of myself here and go down to the house and rest out a little bit. And uh, I might see you up here later this afternoon or tomorrow. But uh, definitely we're back in the saddle, you know, trotting along. So this is Nick Collier for now. Checking out.